Ah, the doorway. My favorite planetary event. And apparently it's Paradox's favorite planetary event as well, because every single time these days we get a new update, a new event chain for the doorway comes in. So we have had the magnificence of the road to hell, with all of a sudden the Doomslayer being able to come out, or a alternative universe you can trade with, or the void beams that hide out, and so much more. There is a new doorway event in town, and it allows you to get a copy of your capital world. So how do you get the doorway? Well, it will randomly spawn on a singular planet within your empire that is already colonized. Yes, it is a colony event, and it will spawn only once in your game, but you're not guaranteed to get it. The thing is that this outcome that we're going to be talking about today is not necessarily the outcome that will happen every single time. There is a slew of different outcomes for the doorway, but this is the most interesting version of it. As with anything, this will spawn the doorway modifier on your planet, where basically you will get a dimensional portal researcher job for every 25 pops on the planet. Plus, if we go into the features over here, and as soon as we close this, we get the portal researcher area, which, once again, gives you that concept. So you'll have a good idea of what's going on on this planet at all times. Of course, once you research it, you have the opportunity to get the Dimension of Static modifier. Basically, what this does is, is you get a stabilized portal. But it's something on the other side, perhaps. Who knows? Well, the portal side can still be studied, but it will not necessarily give you all that much data. So what is going to follow up on this? Well, there is another event. Within a period of three years, you will be given the Disruptions event chain. And basically what happens here is, is you can take a look at the planet, see what is going on, and basically say, we can go back to work, or we should investigate this. In this particular case, it's probably a good idea to, in fact, investigate this. It doesn't really matter what you do, because within 200 days, you will start to get yet another event. And that is the Negative Mass Start. During the negative mass event, basically what will happen is that your researchers will say, hey, we have found something interesting, and of course, that is fascinating. And that's, you know, it's, it's pretty cool stuff. Except now, after a year, the gateway will appear. But yeah, the night, the sky will split as uh, we will go to battle stations over this, as all of a sudden, a gateway will open up over the planet, ships will spawn, and will try to take things out. You will be able to kill those ships relatively quickly, but overall, you know, there is something behind that there am gateway. There is something behind it. An old, old code, say, basically. You can talk to people. You can talk to yourself. Something that is on the other side, the beta version of you. You can talk to them, you can have long conversations with them and see, hey, why do you not have FTL capabilities? Well, because apparently we didn't, you know, need to have it. Who are you? We are parallel versions of you. And what do you want? Well, um, we have to talk to our experts because these people want to be saved. Their universe is in fact collapsing. Once again, after about a year, the Summit event will pop up. Essentially, your empire and the other empire have come together and basically said, okay, what can we do here? We can study the event and basically we will get some science for it and it will start a situation called the Plight of the Beta Universe. Then we could loot them. Basically, we can uh, take all their stuff and, you know get ahead of ourselves then we can save as many as possible which will basically give us a whole bunch of pops or more importantly we can start a difficult project to save the alanki beta and for this particular case we are very interested in the plight of the beta universe and we will start a brand new situation that will come up basically our goal is to have a finisher effect where the elation uh, event happens, or if everything goes wrong, the static event. Static will mean that uh, their world is going to be consumed by the static. The elation means that a new planet will appear within our empire, which is a copy of one of our own planets. Now, throughout all of this, there will be multiple events that will pop be popping up, such as the crossing dimensional border, and there's a variety of them. However, there, it's very important to keep an eye on things, specifically the um, advances by 20. Now, there is, for instance, uh, advances by 5 and advances by 20. At first glance, advances by 20 is what you want to get. 
No, it is not, because if you advance it, it will move it towards the right side of the screen. You want to reduce it as much as possible. It's kind of weird like that. I'm not entirely sure why the developer set it up like this, because the language is a little bit confusing. However, uh, you want to make sure that you do not advance this event chain as much as possible. You want to reduce that where you can and basically make sure that you go towards stage one or even stage zero as fast as possible. Multiple events will start to pop up and basically you can get research points out of this, etc. But... The goal is, is to get this particular thing down as soon as possible. It will take you about a year and a half, depending on what, what you do. The upkeep for it is 45 energy and is well going to take you away about 10% of your science. But is it worth it, you ask? Well, I don't know. Do you want a free planet? A free capital planet, to be specific. A free uh, size 19 planet is definitely not something that you should ignore. Regardless of, multiple of these events will continue to happen throughout the event chain and basically your goal once again is to get towards the uh, area as much as possible in the end what do you end up with well the static will be fought off and a lanky beta or as your capital world slash beta will pop out of existence and join you it is done and sadly all the other stuff that was affecting the event chain will be finished still though we still have a bunch of really cool stuff here because as i mentioned we get a copy of our capital world which is pretty darn cool to say the least um you do not get the same infrastructure on it essentially it is a relatively basic world but it does come with brand new pops plus it spawns on the exact opposite side as your capital world now talking about these pops now uh they get a brand new trait called not of this world their leader lifespan will be minus 10 their pop-up keep will be plus 10 but every single pop that is in your empire will give you 0 0.5 physics research per month which is totally not abusable at all if you have thousands of these uh still you know one point let's say you have 1500 of these or seven 750 of these pops you know that's that's a lot of science that you can get Sure, at some, if you're in the late game, it may not have all that much effect, but it is a brand new trait that you may not have had or may not have seen before. And I think that's really cool. There's a lot of really cool stuff here, and this is, once again, a very interesting ending to this event chain, where you get a duplicate of your capital world through the doorway. What do you think? If And you know what you should do in the same at the same... You know what I think would be a really cool event for the doorway? If for you to like and comment on this video. Of course, you can talk about this particular event chain as well. Have you seen the static doorway yet? Let me know in the comments below. I'm very, very curious whether or not you have managed to create a copy of your own empire. Because this is pretty cool and I like it a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've gotten some more information about the static event and what can happen there and uh, yeah that you can go ahead and play with this and pray that you can get it because my god is it awesome thank you so much for watching and thank you to my patrons for making this video possible make sure to like the video and comment down below we'll see you in the next one who knows what we're going to be talking about next it's going to be pretty cool i'm pretty sure see you next time